All right, so welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're returning back to the new Telstra Smart Modem Generation 2 and their inability to communicate with really old wireless brother printers. So here we have a printer that's approximately 20 years old. It's one of the first wireless printers ever to come out. And as we can see here, we have a Wi-Fi connection now working with this old brother printer. In a previous video, the only way I could work out to get these to work with these new modems that Telstra has produced and is installing everywhere was to plug in a network cable. So this is the modem that you will have that you're having the problems with. Got your new modem delivered by Telstra and now suddenly your brother printer will not communicate at all. In the previous video I advised to plug in a cable, so run a cable from the network socket into the network socket in the um, printer and that would make it on the network again and wireless. Um, well, I've spent a few weeks working out, m messing around with these, trying to work out the issue. So these are the modems, the wireless modem cards that are inside these brother printers. And it's 20 year old technology, so 15, 20 years. And the problem is that everything has changed. These modems now use a 2.4 gigahertz as well as a 5.8 gigahertz network. And um, uh, older brother printers will automatically not connect to them. They can't even see the uh, wireless network. Um, so this video is about modifying the settings in this modem to make your old wireless brother printer work again happily on the Wi-Fi network. So first thing we have to do is you have to plug in your modem, set it up and connect your laptop to the new Wi-Fi network. So in my case, my new modem is this. So I'm running several modems in my home. I have another um, So this is the other modem that I'm running. It's a Netcom wireless modem you won't get any problems with these modems they uh, are set up and configured to just work with everything a very reliable modem they give very few problems so I'm also running this modem uh, as well to separate my kids from the main network alright so we're now connected to uh, the network and we have to go to the modem's IP address. So the modem lives at 192.168.0.1. Um, the admin name is admin, and I think the uh, password is Telstra from memory. Either way, it's written on the bottom of your modem what your password is. 
Okay, we now log in and we're presented with this screen. So what you next have to do is you have to click on Advanced. We go into Advanced and then we need to go down to Wi-Fi click on the Wi-Fi and then we're presented with a whole pile of options settings that we have to change to make our old brother Wi-Fi printer work on this new Wi-Fi network the first thing you have to do is you have to turn off something that's called band steering band steering is a new option down here we've got band steering enabled we turn that off so what happens is when you connect to your network um, originally you'll only have one Wi-Fi name so if we go down and look at the Wi-Fi so in our case our network name here is Telstra now because we have band steering turned off over here it separates the 2.4 gigahertz network and the 5.8 gigahertz network and now you end up with two networks running so we have Uh, 5 gigahertz and a 2.4 gigahertz network running now so first thing turn band steering off and then we save the settings down here now the next thing you need to do is we need to come back up to the top settings and you need to go to the 2.4 gigahertz network this one okay you need to change this if it's on anything else to 802.11 BGN the next setting you need to change is the channel width so the issue is that these your new Telstra modem supports it's automatically set to auto and it supports 20 and 40 megahertz bandwidth so these old modems do not support 40 megahertz bandwidth they only support 20 megahertz bandwidth so you have to change the channel width to 20 megahertz then once you've changed it you then have to click save down here which will appear next to the closed to reset that you need to leave short guard interval turned on you need to leave space time block code on and then you need to reboot the modem now the next is the most important thing where the channel is that the transmitter transmits on this will be set from the factory from Telstra to auto what happens is your modem when you plug it in it does a scan of all the local networks and it chooses a vacant channel um, for the modem but the problem is is that the modems seem to automatically steer towards channel 7 so I've seen in multiple customers who've rocked up to their business or their home and all the modems just seem to be pushed towards channel 7 now the issue with these modems is that um, they're from an old Wi-Fi standard 
you know, from 15, 20 years ago, where the amount of available bandwidth was really quite limited. And this was part of the whole shutting down the TV, the analog TV transmitters and pushing everyone to digital television is that they wanted to reclaim the bandwidth back that was used by the analog TV stations, which then enabled um, Wi-Fi to have greater access to more frequencies. So these modems, so even though your new Telstra modem will go from channel one up to channel 13, your old brother printer and its Wi-Fi card only supports from channel 3 to channel 6. So the problem is, is when you pull this modem out of the box and you plug it in and set it up, it will automatically push itself towards channel 7. But that's a problem for every old brother printer because it can only go as high as channel 6. So your, your, your old printer can't see the Wi-Fi network and it can't connect to it. So what you have to do is you have to choose a channel from channel 3 to channel 6 to keep your printer connected. Now that creates a problem in itself is that when you go over to the analyzer, so over here, if we click on the analyzer, the, the modem, and we hit accept, the modem will do a quick sweep of all of the Wi Fi traffic in the area. And in our case, where I live, there's very few Wi Fi transmitters, so it's come back with this chart and it's picked up my other modem so but interestingly it hasn't picked up its own modem which is quite interesting so here it shows that this other modem here is on channel 7 so depending on where you live you'll have a graph it could just be a plethora of Wi-Fi um, modems available so you want to pick one pick a channel where there's very little concentration of Wi-Fi transmitters but it has to be between channel 3 and channel 6 in order for it to work so what we're gonna do is we go back up to this one for the access point for 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so just recapping these settings. In the 2.4 gigahertz network, so we need to have the modem on any channel between channel 3 and channel 6. Uh, the brother printers can only communicate between channel 3 and channel 6, the older printers. So start off on channel 3 as a starting point. The channel width needs to be 20 megahertz short guard interval can be on cyclic delay diversity must be turned on space time block code must be on of course we must have broadcast ssid on wps on but you won't be able to use it because the wps is not compatible with the old printers 
we need to have band steering turned off so that you have a separate 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz network and then you need to click save down here when the save appears if you find that your printer doesn't connect at channel 3 simply move up to the next channel uh, let the modem cycle and reboot and then um, usually within channel 3 or channel 4 depending on your location if there's enough uh, Wi-Fi traffic um, being pushed towards channel 7 it should be okay so if we go back over to the printer we can see we have a Wi-Fi connection it, the signal strength is quite low it seems to be with these Telstra modems that the 5.8 gigahertz seems to be quite strong but the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter seems to be a little bit on the weak side so, so we'll go over here menu go down to network go to wireless LAN we'll check the status of the wireless LAN and it's active at 11N we go to the signal it tells us that we're on channel 3 and we're only connected at 1 megabits per second uh, but at least we are connected so um, we'll go check the TCP IP settings you leave it on auto so that Apple devices can communicate properly with the uh, printer if you've got this set up on static settings um, yeah iPhones and that don't like uh, being able to connect to the um, printer properly so here's our IP address 192.168.0.152 we'll just go back over to the computer oh. Uh, we'll open up a new browser. So I'll put in there one nine two dot one six eight zero dot one five two, and there's our brother printer online, and we can uh, obviously communicate with it, yep, it's all communicating that works, yep, it's all communicating good um, yeah, so hopefully that's helped you out today um, you just gotta tweak the settings play with the channels, just try and get the strongest signal that you can and um, hopefully that helps out and gets your old brother printer back online so that you can keep using it for many many more years to come uh, thanks for watching um, uh, yeah thanks